Hey everyone, it's Chris Cook, your independent Cincy consultant. And I just got a little teeny haul in containing scents of the season and pink light bulbs. So I wanted to show you, I got a good collection of them. I got 12 of the 25 watt pink light bulbs. Will I order the other ones? I don't know. Um, but I did want to have them available for certain warmers. And this is Summer Rain, and this was one that I wanted uh, it available for. When I heard Scentsy um, possibly could have pink bulbs out, I was really hoping for something a little bit softer than the bright pink that they are. Um, but I knew what I was ordering, and I, I really love them. Um, I am hoping for a softer pink next time. And I do think that is a gorgeous warmer. And I love the pink. And I think in person you get a lot more of the texture. I wanted to show you the color of the ball. So it is a bright pink. Which I think you could tell. And I also put one in my bubbled iridescent, which I feel like I like better than any other color in here, except for the clear. I do like the clear quite a bit. And I'm just gonna move this. Sorry about my big hand there. Yeah, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? I did have to take the lid off because I have wax in it but really gorgeous. And we have a mini and you can buy 15 watt bulbs, but yeah, that's gorgeous, right? All right, put that back on. And I have a little bit of a disappointment here on Our scent of the season collection so it's here and it's five bars and I have them sitting here open in front of me uh, because I feel like they were locked in that box and locked in the shipping box and um, really have each other smell on them so I did a first sniff and I um, gave my opinions, but it's really not fair. So now they've been sitting out probably five minutes. I don't know if that's gonna help, but we'll go with Frosted White Pine first. Um, I think you know by now, I don't like pine scents. And this one is a very strong one. Pine needles and crisp greens shiver in winter air. Oh, I hope that's not. Give me one moment. I hope that's not Amazon. It's loud. Hey guys, be quiet. We are going to lock that door. Whoa, 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 whoa. iPad. Okay, so no matter which video I post it is going to be a little bit of a mess so sorry about that I just can't hold these warmers on anymore anymore because they are hot all right so frosted white pine if I didn't say before is pine needles and crisp greens shiver in winter air which I think I gave you that one um I'm not going to smell it again it I, I had a face after it last time. Um, it's a very strong pine scent. And I think I'm going to just maybe let someone else enjoy this as a present. Homestead Holiday. So, um, Frosted White Pine is brand new. Homestead Holiday is, um, has been available to us before. A lot of these have that frosted white pine on them and um, trying to get that out of them. Um, it has been available before. 
it um excuse me it is a favorite of many consultants um, and many people that put out YouTube videos they have been um, very upset that it didn't come back I think Patricia Gates is one it's her Christmas Eve scent so we're gonna smell this one this is blood orange and cinnamon freshened by again fur needle and I get a lot of just that frosted white pine in it I get a little bit of the spices a lot of the spices I'm hoping to get some orange, but I know blood orange is never a favorite of some people's. I'm okay with this one right now. We'll see. <laughs> Since I know it's such a favorite, I definitely want to try. Peppermint Rush smells just like itself. Um, I was able to get one in a recent Bring Back My Bar, but I never melted it. So I have it now. I think it was like in January where it came back. It's a nice um, candied peppermint. Peppermint, sweet vanilla, and an accord of freshly fallen snow. It's a good one, it's very strong. It, it smells like itself, so I'm not worried about that one at all. Now these other two will definitely, um, since this collection is available to the masses, on November 1st, um, I'm going to put it in my club then. Um, especially these two scents. And I was very excited about them, but I just get that pine on them. They were sitting right next to them. Um, we have caramel praline cake. Packaging is gorgeous, right? Sweet praline and a splash of butterly, buttery vanilla covered in caramel drizzle. I love anything caramel, even wax. Okay, I'm getting more of the cake. I, the buttery vanilla, definitely. Okay, this one's airing out. I'm getting less pine than I was before. I don't smell caramel yet, but I'm going to need to do more reviews um, on these. Am I going to give them, I don't know, hopefully a couple days. If anybody thinks I shouldn't leave them out without being packaged, let me know. I was just going to kind of set them in the trays like this um, so that we can get some air to them and hopefully that frosted pine leaves. Another one I was very excited about and I will definitely get another one in my club to test is Sugar Plum Berry. I won't buy another um, package like this, which is fine. You can still get your six for 30. Um, these five buyers are 25. All I smell is pine. This one I was very excited about. Um, I asked on our little group chat and Lisa Roberry um, answered that this was a great one. She had it in a brick and it will definitely go in her club. I just smell pine. I don't smell any berry. Um, I do feel like I smell um, cinnamon probably. The official description of this one is sugar plum berry so this was out previously um, in a brick for sure that I know of a jolly brew of spiced citrus peels evergreen well actually it's, I think it's evergreen berries so I always hope that I'll love something with pine and berries and I never do Evergreen berries, because there is no comma. <laughs> uh, sugar plums and cinnamon sticks. So I am definitely going to set this out. I am definitely going to melt it. And I am definitely going to 
probably have a couple coming in my November club. So that'll be um, at the beginning of December, probably end of November that I get it. And we'll know for sure on those two. I may even do that with Homestead Holidays since it's such a favorite. Um, but it's not a favorite um, combination of notes of mine. Sorry about my hands there. They look weird today. <laughs> um, so hopefully I got it together enough for this video and you were able to enjoy it. Especially those pink bulbs. Because now I am set. <laughs> I'm really excited to have those there. I love the color. Um, and I appreciate you joining me. Um, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to help grow my channel. I'm finally at 100 <laughs> It's taken quite a while to get there, um, so who knows, but I, I enjoy um, sharing these with you, and I also wanted to quickly give you a review on two scents that I melted and made samples of, so I melted them and then took a few samples out of them. Frosted Cedar uh, was not for me, guys. Too strong, not enough apple. Um, I do think that if I melted it with Johnny Appleseed, I might enjoy it more, but I don't like it enough to try that mix. And then Midnight Mahogany. Um, I had it in this room. I really did like it uh, a lot. Um, not a love, but I liked a lot. And I made samples with that as well. I'm going to send some over to my husband's work. Um, and thank you so much for joining me here. I really appreciate it. And again, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I love um, commenting back and forth with you guys. And my hands look weird. Thanks again. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day, guys.